Welcome back to Doris and Daddy! Off Road. <laughs> Today we're doing a super quick video showing how we changed these hockey pucks into extensions for the bump stops on our Jeep. <laughs> We ordered our hockey pucks on Amazon. The link is in the description below. All I found was a hockey puck. <laughs> Aside from the hockey pucks, you're also going to need two 5 16 bolts. The ones we used were about two and a half inches long. We also needed four washers and two 5 16 lock nuts. Roughly an inch of bolt for every hockey puck plus half an inch to go through the spring perch. First, find the center of the hockey puck and drill a hole for the 5 16 bolt. I drilled a hole that was a bit larger than the 5 16 bolt because the rubber had some rebound after it was drilled. Next, use a 7 8 spade bit to... Ah! The picture's upside down. Use a 7 8 spade bit to drill a hole in the top of two of the hockey pucks so that the bolt head can sit flush. Now you will need to jack up your Jeep and remove the coil springs. We did ours one side at a time. The long arms and Bilstein shocks on our Jeep made the job super easy. Check out our cat that long arm video here! You might need to compress your springs in order to remove them. Once the springs have been removed, drill a 5 16 hole in the center of each spring perch. There's a divot in the center of the perch to help you align the drill. Depending on your springs, you will probably need to put the pucks inside of the springs before putting the springs back in place. We also replace the bump stops longer ones from Daystar. Link in the description below. Once the springs are back in place and secure, you can drop the bolts through the pucks and tighten them down. You should probably mention how hard it was to get the nut in place on the passenger side. Right. It wasn't easy, but it is doable. I used a magnet to get the nut started and then I switched to a crowfoot wrench to hold the nut in place while I tightened the bolt from above. That's about it! Put the tires back on and go test them out! We hope you found this video entertaining! Helpful! For more information and inspiration about bump stops and limit straps, check out our SEMA video right here Plus, we will put out a video about fabricating the rear stops when we finish that project in a few weeks. Thanks for watching! <laughs>